Please introduce yourself. Well, my name is uh, Kai Moyan. Um, I uh, work as an identity marketeer at Mercurius Identity Marketing in Almelo and also a part-time uh, lector at uh, Saxion in Enschede and Deventer at the Department of Marketing and International Management. It's two things. It's a way of thinking, a paradigm or philosophy that, that puts um, or that states that um, companies only exist um, for, the, for the meaning or the significance they have to others. Their first goal is to be significant by providing products or services or do whatever they do best. And then it's a, mean, it's a means to earn money so that you can keep on doing that. So you don't exist because you want to earn money, but you exist because you want to be significant. You earn money so that you can keep on be, being significant to others. That's the philosophy. Um, so that's, that's one thing. On the other hand, it's also a practical, it's, it's a profession. The identity marketing does things. That's what we do at Mercurius. Um, and what we've noticed is that um, uh, what we do there is, um, together with companies, we, we, we make their identity clear. We have a, all kinds of tools for that. We create an identity certificate, uh, as we call it. And that's the starting point for that company to actually to look at their complete organization and to ask themselves, okay, if this is who we want to be and, and where we stand for, what does it mean for the way we deal with our colleagues now, with people? And what is the way, what, what is the consequence for the products or the services we deliver? Should we do it differently now? What is the consequence for the building or the, the context in which we work? Should, if, 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 if a customer meets us in our, in our building, do they think, well, this doesn't fit or it does fit? These kind of things. How do you want to communicate with people? Can you, you can communicate in so many ways. What's the best way that fits with your identity? So you actually, you, 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 chew, you bring every aspect of your organization in line with your identity. And that's what we support. So we first, we said, okay, this is your identity. We help them develop that. And then the next step is, okay, now we start working together with you how you can apply that into your complete organization so that it doesn't stay as, a, as a, an interesting thought and some something that everybody is enthusiastic about, but it really becomes reality in the company. Well, it's also, I think it's, it's quite simple actually. If you think about a, a person, an organization or a collection of people, or, um, and a person, when a person is really devoted to really uh, clear about what he or she wants to achieve and really um, knows him or herself very well and does everything to f from that perspective and from that sense of knowing who you are, what you want to achieve, people become more effective, become more enthusiastic, more attractive in general. And I think exactly the same process is going on within a company. If you know what you want to, m to mean to people in your company and you you believe in it and you're also convinced that there are a lot of people that share that with you then you can create a company that's both very um, clear and, and distinctive in its identity and also profitable if you focus on what you do best and what you like to do there's always an opportunity to also make money with that always the view that I have now is that the, 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 um, the way of thinking is pretty similar um, but the way you deal with it, the things you do as an Imagineer um, are different, you do different things I think and I think that's the basic, so I think it's a different profession but we are soulmates, that's how I see it. We, we want to achieve the th similar things by doing different things and um, I think uh, Imagineering is also strategic but also at the tactical level, at, at the concepts you developed and then really like visualizing stuff. And what we do at Mercurius with identity marketing is purely strategic. Um, and, and it's really at the very front end of the whole uh, innovation process or the whole company process. Well, the class of Kai Morel was very interesting to me this morning. Um, he basically started off uh, with asking us uh, to present each other as, as a brand and then we started noticing that we kind of present each other on a very shallow level so we start to tend we tend to talk more about what year we've been born what studies we've done but not about the essence of the brand itself what he says with identity marketing basically is that 
the real identity of a brand or company or organization is based on the spiritual level. So what is the actual meaning from the company to the world? Um, well, what is your message to the world and how are you going to present that towards the world? So it was quite interesting and I'm looking forward to today and tomorrow. <laughs>